there is an uh, unfortunately a, a a a cultural untruth that exists for many Latter Day Saints, certainly in the in the Western world, and that is this idea that if only we are righteous, then bad things won't happen to us. And 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 there are reasons for that. I mean, that's certainly an aspect of Protestantism in the world that we're around. That you know, God's will is always being done, and, and you even hear Latter Day Saints say things you know, not realizing that it's not really our doctrine, that when, when something happens, you'll hear a Latter-day Saint say, well, we know that every single thing happens for a reason. Um, well, sometimes not, right? I mean, the, the reason is because you're in a world that's, that's a mortal world that you chose to come here, and there are at times horrific things that happen, but believing that God is simply inflicting those on everyone is just, it's not the case. But what is the reality that this mortality is designed to refine people, to bring them to become a Zion people. And, and that's hard uh, because it's easy to check the box and say, as long as I'm doing what's right, then bad things won't happen to me. And there's just no evidence of that in the scriptures, by the way. I mean, everyone who's checking boxes in the scriptures is constantly, uh, <laughs> constantly having terrible things happen. Notice in verse 32, he then goes on to say, let him that is ignorant learn wisdom by humbling himself and turning to the world for answers, right? Wait, he didn't say that. Not to the world. He said, <laughs> calling upon the Lord his God, that his eyes may be opened, that he may see, and his ears open, that he may hear. And Garrett, what you're talking about, this idea, some of these false notions, these false notions weren't given to us by God. These, these right. are created by the world's opinions and, and, and uh, the philosophies of men, so to speak. I love the fact that here the invitation is go to God, turn, turn heavenward, be humble. 